constraints are a special category of non-functional requirements that define a limit imposed by the environment in which the application will exist. To satisfy any business, stakeholder, functional, or non-functional requirement, solution providers need to know all of the internal and external constraints that affect it. External constraints are imposed by authorities outside the control of your organization. Internal constraints are imposed by your organization, but outside the control of your project. For example, if you're in the healthcare industry dealing with personal data, the acronym HIPAA probably means something to you. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act regulates, amongst other things, how parties in the healthcare industry exchange electronic personal data. This law is an external constraint to any project that deals with personal data in the healthcare sector. No project can change the law or can avoid it. As the one wearing the BA hat, your job is to define how the law impacts functional and or informational components of your application. In addition, your organization can define business rules or business policies, internal constraints. These are not subject to change by your project. They also affect your functional and informational requirements. For example, an insurance company currently offers a 5% discount to drivers who have not had a traffic violation or accident within the past three years. The 5% and three years are both values that are subject to change at any time. You need to communicate to the solution providers that the business community needs to maintain these values without the need to modify the application's code. For any given functional or informational component, you need to identify all applicable laws and regulations that define what a function must do, what it must not do, or that place restrictions on the informational component. Those are external constraints. In addition, you need to take a look at business rules, policies, and procedures that might affect the function or data. Make sure that you document these constraints and reference them in all impacted functional and informational requirements. Look at a concrete example of constraints. We reference the requirement. The application should calculate the premium discount of 5% for drivers who have not had an accident in the past three years. Using techniques discussed previously, you identified several functional elements, namely calculate discount, determine accident-free years, etc., and several data elements like premium, discount amount, accident history, and so on. Your next step is to identify any stakeholder that has authority to mandate how these functions work or what data the function creates. As you dig deeper, you discover that the company cannot change the data element premium without the approval by a state insurance board. That means that there is an external constraint under the control of a regulatory agency that the premium has to come from an approved rate table. Next, we are informed that the discount amount is currently 5%, but subject to change by the business community. This is an internal constraint, aka business rule, affecting the data element and the functions that create it. You previously connected each data element to the functions that create or consume it. By associating the constraint or rule with the data component, you're automatically constraining the related functions. Since each constraint may impact multiple functions, we recommend documenting the external and internal constraints in one place and referencing them in each impacted functional or informational requirement.